made for a purpose for a specific reason. And I want to dig into this tonight. But instead of looking at just the secular medical journals and newspaper reports, I want to look at the most authoritative source, which is God's Word. And I want to turn to the Song of Songs in the Old Testament. Now, if you've ever read this stuff, it is steamy stuff. This is erotic love poetry in the heart of the Bible. And they're talking about breasts and lips and hips and, I mean, you name it, it's in there. And you may not know, but your university is named after a man, St. Thomas Aquinas, the angelic doctor of the church, who on his deathbed asked the other monks to come to him and read him the Song of Songs because he knew that the union, the one flesh union of a man and a woman in marriage is just a shadow of the intimacy that our souls will possess with our true beloved, which is God, in heaven. And if you read through the Song of Songs, there are gems in here. Now, some of the stuff is just beautiful literature of saying to your beloved, you've ravished my heart, my sister, my bride. Your eyes are like doves behind your veil. Now, some of this you couldn't use with a girlfriend. You know, your, your hair is like a flock of goats. You know, that's not going to fly real well. You know. <laughs> your, your teeth are like sheep, you know, <laughs> um, your cheeks are like pomegranates, like, you're saying I'm fat, no, I'm not saying you're fat, um, but, but in, the, in the midst of the archaic literature, there's some gems in here, you've ravished my heart, my sister, my bride, look at the order of the words here, you've ravished my heart, my sister, then my bride, I think so often today, relationships are so rushed, you don't enjoy the season of brother, sister, you jump straight into the romance. And I remember speaking at the um, Catholic University in Washington, D.C., where I asked 400 college students, I said, when was the last movie you saw that portrayed masculine friendship? You know, that a couple can enjoy, just a simple season of friendship. You don't have to rush into romance. A man can be a friend to a woman without implying something sexual. When was the last time you saw that in a movie, masculine friendship? 400 students couldn't think of one movie. One student put his hand up. He goes, oh, I know. I said, what's that? He said, Finding Nemo. And I said, oh, that, that's good. I said, but they're fish. It doesn't count. It's a cartoon. But, but fascinating, though. 400 college students couldn't think of one example from the media that promoted a masculine friendship. And I think so often, when we miss this season of relationships, girls in particular get burned.